Hi there, welcome back. Thanks a lot for joining me. Our goal in this video is to become familiar with the BED's interface. Let's open a BED one pop and have a look at the interface. Here you can see several items. On the top left, you can see five buttons, which are these five blue rectangles. To the right, you can find monitors, two monitors, which display the value of certain variables as time goes by in the simulation. Below, we find a couple of plots. These plots show the strategy distribution as time goes by. Below the plots, we can find several items that we can use to input parameter values. There are many types. For example, here we can see an input box, which we use to set up the payoffs of the game. Below, there is a slider, which we use to determine the number of agents in the simulation. Notice that you can modify the value of every parameter in a bet at runtime and this change has an immediate effect on the model. This is a great feature of NetLogo. Another type of item used to input parameter values are switches. Switches are used to input binary parameters. They can have the value of on or off, or if you prefer, true or false. They're booleans, basically. For example, you can use a switch to determine whether you want to show the recent history plots or not. As before, any change you make in the model has an immediate effect on, on its dynamics. And finally, there are also choosers, which are drop-down menus that we use for parameters with multiple named values. For instance, with this chooser here, we can select among different decision methods. A BETS interface is organized in blocks of parameters that deal with specific aspects of the program. The buttons on the top left are used to set up and run the program. The other two buttons deal with loading and saving parameter files. Then we find the two monitors. Below we can see the strategy distribution plots. This block over here contains parameters to define the game and set up the initial population. These three parameters help us define the assignment of revision opportunities. The big block to the right contains the parameters that determine the specific revision protocol we want to use. And these four parameters here to the left deal with plotting, basically. Finally, we have a block here that contains parameters that are used less often and two more plots that show the strategy's expected payoff as time goes by. Okay, so now that we have an overview of a BETS interface, the next step would be to look at each of these parameters in more detail, but we'll leave that for the next video if you like. So thanks a lot for watching and I really think we're doing pretty good and I'm confident we're, doing, we're going to do even better in the next video. I very much look forward to meeting you there. See you soon.